Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. All right, welcome to Advanced Class 34. Yes, Advanced Class 34, starting with a little review of comparisons using the structure not as many. Not as many. So we're talking about countable things here. And we had this idea, we, we could say, there are not as many cars in Toledo as there are in Madrid. We can also say there are fewer cars in Toledo than there are in Madrid. But it's more common. Native English speakers um, tend to use the not as many structure rather than fewer. So rather than this um, direct structure, we tend to use the inverse structure. So I will give you the direct structure, and then I would like you to convert it into the equivalent and more common yet slightly more difficult, indirect structure. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you understand me? Because what I'm, I'm going to say, there are fewer people in Spain than in France. And you will say, there are not as many people in Spain as in France. This is a fact. This is a fact. This is all true, ladies and gentlemen. There are fewer golf tournaments on TV than there are football matches. At home? I can't, I can't hear you. Can you say that again? There are not as many, thank you, there are not as many golf tournaments on TV as there are football matches. Mm. There are fewer politicians in Morocco than in Spain. There are not as many politicians in Morocco as in Spain. There are not as many politicians in Morocco, as there are in Spain. There are fewer trees in Portugal than in Canada. There are not as many trees in Portugal as there are in Canada. There are fewer teachers in the other company than there, than there are in this one. There are not as many teachers in the other company than there are in this one. There are fewer injuries in basketball than in football. That's true. There are not as many injuries in basketball as in football. So as in football, or as there are in football. Either one is fine. There are fewer people here now than there were last night. There are not as many people here now as there were last night. Very good. Very good. Well done. There are fewer drivers here than in India. Drivers, true. The roads in India are completely crowded. There are fewer drivers here than in India. There are not as many drivers here as, or as there are, in India. It's a fact. There are fewer cars on the road in Toledo than in Shanghai. Yes. There are fewer cars on the road or on the roads in Toledo than there are in Shanghai. There are not as many cars on the roads in Toledo as there are in Shanghai. True. True. Now, to gain a complete understanding and, uh, of, of how these are the same, and to develop further agility, let's go the other way. Let's convert it from not as many back into fewer. A slightly different structure here. I don't know as many people in California as Layla does. This is true. I don't know as many people in California as Layla does. So I know fewer people in California than Layla does. True. I don't know as many classical music pieces as Richard Brown does. I know fewer classical music pieces than Richard Brown does. Absolutely. I don't know as many Irish football teams as Fitz does. I don't I, I know fewer Irish football teams than Fitz does. This is also true. There aren't as many olive trees. Olivos. Olive trees. Olive. I need to hear that V. Olive. Olive trees. There are fewer, or well, there aren't as many olive trees in Canada as in Spain. That's a fact. 
there are fewer olive trees in Canada than in Spain. Mm -hmm. I didn't eat as many hamburgers as he did. I ate fewer hamburgers than he did. Well done. I didn't see as many movies as they did. I saw fewer movies than they did. She didn't go to as many parties as she did the month before. She went to fewer parties than she did the month before. I don't know as many towns in Texas as Richard does. This is true. I know fewer towns in Texas than Richard does. Sure. I don't know as many people. I don't know as many people in the United States as Hannah does. I know fewer people in the United States than Hannah does. Hannah doesn't know the names of as many Canadian hockey teams as I do. <laughs> hockey, my favorite sport. It's true. Hannah knows the names of fewer, hockey, of fewer Canadian hockey teams than I do. Yes. For me, it's important. Hockey. Absolutely. Very important in Canada. <laughs> Expression of the day. Yes, folks, it is that time. It's your favorite time. Time for the expression of the day. That's right, the expression of the day today. Man, get a grip. Get a grip. Get a hold of yourself. Gain control of the situation. Get, G-E-T, get, the, the, the king of verbs, get a grip. Grip. Like when I grab something. I'm gripping to I'm gripping the microphone with my hand. I'm holding it. I'm gripping it. Get a grip. G R I P. Get a grip. Now, what what we mean is get a grip on hold gain control of things. Get control of your life. If if you're losing control, if if you're going crazy, you're getting you're upset. People say, "Man, get a grip." Get a grip. Get a grip. Get control of your life. Calm down. Get things under control. Control things. You're going wild. You're going crazy here. Get a grip. Calm down. Get a grip. Get a grip. Very good. And that's our expression of the day today. Get a grip. All right. Oh, boy. It's time, folks. It's time to talk about years. Yes, it sure is. It's time to talk about years. Here we are in class 34 already. And in the student guide, you may recall, it says, ask me when the battle of, uh, ask me when the battle of Trafalgar took place. When did the battle of Trafalgar took, take place? It took place in 1805. When did it take, it took place in 1805. So, oh, we say O oh, instead of zero. We, stay, we say O instead of zero in dates. We typically say O instead of zero in four cases. When we're talking about dates, years, right? My grandfather crossed the Atlantic Ocean in 1908. In terms of time, it's 305. O in terms of time. Okay, that's the second one. The third one, room numbers in a hotel. You're staying in room 305. 305 room numbers in a hotel and finally in telephone numbers my phone number 902304025 not my real phone number but invented but o instead of zero in phone numbers years time and room numbers okay so the battle took place in 1908 1908 so let's talk about some significant things that happened here in history. Uh, 1901. The 1,282 foot or 390 meter covered bridge crossing the St. John River in Heartland, New Brunswick, Canada opened. It is the longest covered bridge in the world. And the host of this show, Kyle Miller, has been there. Yes, I have. I've been there. I've been to the longest, the world's longest covered bridge in Heartland, New Brunswick, in Atlantic Canada. True. It opened in 1901. 
In the same year, 1901, Theodore Roosevelt became president of the United States. In 1902, on the 8th of January, a train collision in New York City, uh, New York City's Central Railroad, Park Avenue Tunnel, uh, uh, yeah, a collision in the tunnel killed 17 people, injured 38, and it leads to an inc- or led to an increased demand for electric trains. Uh, the, na- the following month, the 8th of February, another transportation-related uh, point, again, the year of 1902, the Berlin U-Bahn underground system is opened. On May 20th of 1902, Cuba gained independence from the United States. Later in 1903, on the 23rd of February, Cuba released Guantanamo Bay to the United States in perpetuity, meaning forever. In 1903, later on, on the 10th of August, the Paris Metro train fire took place. Terrible, terrible fire in the Paris Metro, the subway. In 1904, on the 12th of January, Henry Ford sets a new automobile land speed record, reaching a speed in a vehicle of 91.34 miles per hour. Pretty fast for 1904, over 100 years ago. Pretty impressive. Way to go, Henry. Uh, On the 21st of July, 1904, the Trans-Siberian Railway is completed. So lots of transportation-related stories here between 1901 and 1905. On to 1905 now. In April, Albert Einstein worked on the uh, special theory of relativity as well as the theory of Brownian motion. There you go. On the 7th of June, the Norwegian parliament declared the union with Sweden to be dissolved and Norway achieved full independence. 1905. So giving you a few examples there of when we say O instead of zero when we're talking about dates. So a few things you have to remember with years. 1905. We say O instead of zero. And then when we talk about, uh, well, the year before 1901 is 1900. We say 1800, 1700. And then we talk about that century. We say, well, we can say the 19th century. Okay. Or we could say the 1800s. Back in the 1800s, in the 1900s, in the 1500s, we say. But a specific year, in the year 1900. Right, his uh, he crossed the Atlantic Ocean, for example. Okay, and then 190. Oh, when we have a zero in the second last position, we say 1905, 1701, for example. Okay. Other than that, we just say 1963, 1989. So there are a few tricks with dates, but that's about it. That's what you have to know. Okay. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, it is time for the vocabulary of the day. Our vocabulary today. First word, medico. Medico. And you're going to say at home, doctor. Yes, you're right, doctor, but also physician. Physician. My family physician. Family doctor. Doctor. Medico. Doctor. Or physician. Because a doctor could be, well, anyone that has a PhD is a doctor, right? A doctor of of, uh, history, if they have a doctorate degree. But uh, medico, specifically to help you with health problems, is a physician. Alargar. Alargar. Ooh, interesting one here. The verb, to lengthen. So to increase the length of something is to lengthen. Lengthen it. Lengthen, L-E-N-G-T-H-E-N, lengthen. Very good, lengthen. The opposite of lengthen, to shorten. Very good. So these are some words, there are adjectives, there are a limited number, but it's an interesting phenomenon. There are many adjectives that become verbs when we add E-N. So how long is it? What is the length? Length. And then we, ch- we add E-N, we have lengthen, which is alargar. It's very short, but if we want it to be shorter, we can shorten it. Lengthen, shorten. 
if we want something to be wider, we can widen it. Okay? If I'm making a painting, if, if I'm painting, pintando un, un cuadro, if I'm painting a painting, we say, cuadro is, a, is also a painting. If I'm painting a painting, and it's too light, the colors are too light, too bright, too much white, maybe I want it más oscuro. If I want it to be darker, I can darken it. I can darken the colors to darken it. Sure. Okay. This happens with many uh, nouns. Well, not, not 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 an awful lot, but a certain number. We'll see those again uh, in the grammar portion of another class. Mezcla. Blend. Blend. Yes, calimocho is a blend of Coca-Cola and wine, right? I think. Calimo am I am I right? Calimocho? Coca-Cola and wine, I think so. Servietta. Como se dice? Servietta. Napkin. Right. Napkin. Very good. Napkin. Napkin. You can say serviette also. It sounds very uh, formal. Serviette. It sounds very polite. I would say napkin. Extrovertido. Outgoing. He's very outgoing. He's a very outgoing person. Outgoing. Outgoing. Very good. An outgoing person. Are you an outgoing person? It helps to learn English. It helps to be outgoing. That's one thing I'll tell you, folks. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. I've made them all myself learning Spanish. It's normal to make mistakes. We all make mistakes, but it's important to not be afraid and go out and speak. Be outgoing. Speak. Practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect, we say. If you want to learn, you have to speak. You can't be shy. Get out there and do it. I used to live in Canada. Here we are. Used to. Used to as a past form. Used to plus infinitive. Okay? Used to as a past form is... Yeah, I, I used to. Yo, antes. And then in the negative, antes, no. I, I, didn't, I didn't used to live in Sweden. I didn't used to live in Sweden. I used to live in Canada. So he now drinks six cups of coffee a day. But before he didn't. He didn't used to drink six cups of coffee a day, you can say. I don't live in Canada anymore. Logically, what could you say? You used to live in Canada. You used to live in Canada. Absolutely. I don't ride I don't ride my bicycle every day anymore, let's say. I don't ride my bicycle every day anymore. You used to ride your bicycle every day. He doesn't smoke as much as he did before. You can say he used to smoke more. A lot, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure if he smoked a lot or not, but, I, I, but he doesn't smoke as much as he did before. It's a, compar it's a comparative, right? So he used to smoke more. Now he smokes less. So he used to smoke more. We're completely out of time, but we're going to come back tomorrow and practice extensively with used to. One of my favorite structures. We'll be back to practice it, so be sure to tune in to the program tomorrow. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be great. You won't want to miss it. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>